no computer in this world comes close to the capacity of the human brain. Fact. 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 When he says he has placed eternity within their hearts. He has placed with the, he, he, he's saying that the whole earth. Okay, look at this from the message. That's in verse 1 from the message. You see how the message puts it. Verse 1. Look at that. It says, God, brilliant Lord, yours is a household name. Yours is a household name. He says, you, that means when God made man, he brought man into a, a world that has his name everywhere. So that man cannot say God does not exist. Who understands that? He left so much proof. You say, oh, but how come man can see it? Uh huh. Because remember, worship starts with the recognition, the appreciation, and the confession. So you say, if 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 the earth is filled with all these proof, how come man says that there is no God? Why? Because recognition must come first, not from the mind but from the spirit. Appreciation comes from the spirit. I mean, God can stand before you and you not recognize him. He did it. I mean, he came in the person of Jesus and he walked through, he ate with them, he was amongst them. They didn't recognize him. They didn't appreciate him. They caught him and they killed him. Because the appreciation will come from the spirit. A man is not just a physical being, man is a spirit being. So what does the devil do? The Bible says that the devil has blinded the mind of those who do not believe. So every unbeliever has a covering over his mind. His spirit is in darkness, so he cannot see, even though he is in a world of proof. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said now. You know, he's in a world where his name is excellent. He's in a world where everything has his name on it. He cannot see it. He cannot appreciate it. He cannot recognize it. Bible says they hear but they do not understand. They see but they cannot comprehend. They can't comprehend. But as soon as that darkness is removed, all of a sudden, you start looking and you see God in everything. Every little thing. You see him in the wind. You see him in the sun. You see him in the trees. You see him in nature. You see him in everything. You look at your neighbor and you see God in him. How excellent, how excellent is your name in all the earth, in all the earth. He says, I look, I look at the earth, your name is excellent. You know what that means? Let me give you an example. How many of you know, he's late now, you know Steve Jobs? There's a certain guy called Steve Jobs. How many of you know him? How did you get to know him? Say it again. His product. You, you remember when you used to use that device that had the button that you had to press, then something happened, some of you, the button went off, you used pen and... How many of you remember that? Then how many of you remember the first time you saw a touch screen device? How many of you remember that? When you saw a touch screen device, you said, oh my God, life is good. This is, this is soft touch, you just, you, you don't do like, if you have to do like this, ah, the thing is bad. Who understands that? You, you, you saw some amazing products. You saw some amazing products. I mean, you remember when we used to have the Walkman? You put the Walkman here and you have it on your ear and you just be moving, but, but you can only listen to one cassette at the same time. So if you want to have a lot of messages, you have to have a bag of cassettes. Then an iPod came out. That is your mobile radio station your mobile um, 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 music library and you can load up thousands of music of songs now you're just enjoying this new world this new way of looking at things now so you get to familiarize yourself with these products and you say who made this product they say oh apple you say what's apple he says it's a company who started it there's a Steve Jobs, and you say, I, I want to study him. Then you do some research on him. You're like, wow, what a wonderful mind. What a great person. But how did you, 
How did you get to even know the name? Why did you even start the research? Why? You got in touch with his product. You got in touch with his product. That means in his product, he left a signature on every one of his products. There was a sign, there was a stamp on his product. So you got to discover the man because the journey started with his product. David says, oh Lord, our Lord, the earth. He says, how excellent is your name in all the earth. That means David is saying, when I look at the earth, I see your logo. I see your signature. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. He says, in everything, you left your signs, you left your name, you left your signature. You. If you do any kind of scientific study of any subject in this world, it's supposed to lead you to God. What do I mean by that? I remember, I remember when I was in university and we study geography, especially the more advanced geography. In the class, while the class is ongoing, I'm just there and I'm just worshiping. While the class is ongoing, I'm just like, what? What? Because you can't get to study all these products without thinking, who made it? Who made it? Who made it? Oh, who is here with me? Who made it? So David says here, get that scripture back up. David says here, he says, how excellent is thy name in the earth? That means all over the earth, your name. Okay, think of it. You go into a boutique. I want a white shirt. So they bring one out. Then they bring another one out. Oh, you say, oh, nice shirt, white, white. So how much is this one? You say, oh, that one is 15,000. How much is that shirt? They say, oh, 70,000. Is it, oh, how, how? Is it not this white shirt? What is it? No. Look at the name on this one. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said now. The name, you say, what name? Then they call a name. Then they tell you that it's a designer. Then they tell you that this is premium quality. Then you, you, you didn't know that name before. All of a sudden, you go and start researching because why would this one cost four times the cost of the other one? So you find out that you're not just buying a material, you're buying a name. God has his name. He, listen, he didn't just create. He didn't just create. He left the God name. He left the God signature on all his creation. If you know any, any, any little biology or you even study the human body, you are supposed to just once in a while, just sit down, put everything down and just clap. I say, Kai, ah, ah, who, who could, who could do this? I mean, you, you have any, any study, maybe just study the brain, the human brain. You just end up like, my Lord, my Lord. Says the whole earth, show me that scripture back up. He says, he says your, your name is a household name. A household name. A household name. When God made everything, he's put his stamp on it. He put his signature on it. The God code is in all creation. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Every plant, every tree, every, even the sand, even the waters, even the seas, even the stones. They will say, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, what are you saying? I'm not, God has not, no business. He has no business with me. It was just my father and my mother just came all of a sudden. I just came out. No. I'll show you in the scripture. No. It wasn't your father. It wasn't your mother. Your father does not have the power to to activate the, he, 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 your father did not create the law of reproduction. You didn't hear what I just said now. No, no, no scientific house. No, no, there's nobody that can, that created that law. God created the law. That is why it doesn't matter what you think. A man and a man cannot produce a child. A 
woman and a woman cannot produce a child. When God created it, he set an order that for a child to come into place, a man and a woman has to come together. That is God's order. And he set it and established it. You cannot change it. You can't change it. You say, oh, my father and my mother just came together. No, your father and mother came together and participated in a law that God pre presets. That he presets. Who understands that? You know, you activated the law that somebody already put in place. You can't change it. You cannot be so wise, you can now change it. You can't change it. He's put it there. Mo Calvary. You know, I, I, I saw I saw how scientists and wonderful guys they're coming up with um, instead of they say oh for movies instead of bringing the life dolphins so they are spending millions and millions of dollars to create one dolphin you know one one dolphin one um, um, robotic dolphin that looks real they have to spend millions millions of dollars to to create one. How much does God spend? How much does God spend? Now, now, yet, that one that they created don't have the capacity to produce another one. You didn't hear what I just said. It does not have, it does not have the God, the God code. It doesn't have the life code. It's just there. It looks like a real dolphin, but it's not one. It can move like a real dolphin, but it's not one. It's not one. Hi. How can you recognize this and not end up in worship? When you recognize this, you're like, oh God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. It's like, it's like fatherhood or motherhood. When that child comes out, you're looking at the child. You participated in a law that God created. But you know more than anybody else that this thing, it wasn't just you. You're holding it, you're holding a miracle that God made. You're holding it. And, and, and I mean, if, if you had any doubt, as the child starts growing, you will understand. Who understands what I'm saying? As the child starts growing, you find out that, that that child is your child, but that child is a person separate from you. With a mind that you have no control. Who understands what I'm saying? The day the child tells you, no. He's a person, no. You thought it was a mini you, just, just like you. So that anything you just say, the child says, no, you find out now. That child is different from you. Oh, who understands that? His mighty works. God left you with all his products. So that in you, appreciating, recognizing those products, that knowledge will lead you to say, who is the manufacturer? Who made this? Then suddenly you see him. You say, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Wave those hands. Wave those hands. Lift those hands up. Father, I thank you. The earth is filled with your glory. The whole earth is filled with your glory. Oh, the whole earth is filled with your glory.